Hello everyone, it's Trina here from There's a Card for That .ca, and today I'm going to be making this, it was supposed to be like an encouragement card um, with distress oxide inks and um, pearlescent Ganzai Tambi Starry Night watercolors and be very pretty and not so much. <laughs> and I'll explain why, because the picture looks really good, right? Uh, so I'm going to start with a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and I am going to be using dried, nope, spiced marmalade, abandoned coral and picked raspberry distress oxide inks. Um, Shari Moss had done this gorgeous Easter card with very similar colors and she used the um, cloud, the big backdrop cloud from Lawn Fawn and with the Ganzai Tambi and it just turned out so beautiful and I wanted to do something like that but of course I can't do the exact same thing even though it was super pretty. Um, so if you haven't looked at that you really should. It's just it's so gorgeous. And so I thought oh well you know what I'm gonna do this really soft really nice encouragement card and I'm going to use the Dream stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Surprise! Because <laughs> no matter what kind of card I want to make Lawn Fawn's just the way to go. Um, so I'm just going back and forth with the Distress Oxide inks, getting the blend and the fade that I want. And then I'm going to heat set that with my heat tool. And I like to test my embossing powder on it when I emboss over Distress inks because sometimes it just doesn't dry. So I did end up having to go back and heat set it again and I did test it again and it was better. And so I'm going to stamp the greeting and I can't remember which stamp set this greeting is from um, and this is my problem this is the problem right here with this card um, and you'll see when I put the powder on and we can all actually read the read the greeting what the problem is I'm stamping the large feather and the small feather from Lawn Fawn set um, just randomly all over um, I thought this would be a good card for somebody who's really struggling with something long term, uh, whether it be an illness or grieving or just something nice, you know, where like doing everyday things is hard. We all have somebody in our lives who's either injured or sick or just basically not doing well. And I wanted to make a card for those people. Um, so I'm going to cover that with my gold embossing powder and you can see already my panel was not completely dry. Um, so I've got a lot of stray powder despite having gone over it with my powder tool. Like there's a lot going on here. Um, I will give up very shortly with this brush and I just held it over my garbage and gave it a really good flick on the back and that worked out. That worked out really well. Like I didn't have to redo the panel or anything like that. There was just a couple other places that I had to like brush it off. So you'll notice as soon as I bring that back in the screen that my celebrate every day, which should be every space day, because if you can put single between every and day and the sentence still makes sense, then it works like celebrate every single day. So my intention with this card was like celebrate every day that you can. You know, like every day that you manage to get up and actually do something because of whatever is holding you back. You know, just one of those encouragement cards. However, whoever made this stamp set, and I tossed the packaging, like legit for real, like I'm not trying to cover for anybody. Um, I don't have the packaging for this. Used the wrong every day. This is every day as in commonplace. So... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this card yet because I really, really like how it turned out. Um, so I heat set all the embossing with my heat gun and then I am just using the white gold from the Ganzai Tambi Starry Night watercolors um, to just lightly add some over top. And you'll see later on when I tilt it and in the pictures like just how pretty and shimmery this card really is and then you know maybe you'll understand why I don't really want to give away this like throw out this card like this card is so nice I'm super super pleased with it and 
I'm going to have to redo it. We all know I'm going to have to redo it because I can't give this to somebody when it's like celebrate every day. Every day what? So maybe what I'll do, and I didn't do it because honestly and like total bad on me, I didn't realize this grammatical error until like post edit. <laughs> like I was adding the very final pictures at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video where I show you how nice it is and I like it so much. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's wrong. <laughs> that is super wrong. And I don't like that at all. So maybe I'll put something clever on the inside, like celebrate everyday grammatical errors, and then in brackets, hope you have a laugh. I will figure something out, but this card is definitely not going to be the encouragement card that I had intended it to be, <laughs> because you, you can't encourage somebody when you're wrong grammatically. <laughs> like, that's not okay. At least in my head, it's not okay. And my husband is like this super grammar Nazi. And so I had to tell him about it before he saw this video. Because <laughs> he'd be like, ah, what's even going on? So see how shimmery that is? So pretty, right? So I'm just going to clean up this mess because when I splatter, it just, it gets everywhere. And then I am going to get a standard A2 sized top folding card base. And I'm going to fold that nice and flat. And the panel is actually sitting on the side to dry. But I'm impatient. I didn't want to hit it with my heat tool because I don't like reheating embossing powder after it's already been heated. Um, because there's a chance it'll burn, right? And then it'll bubble and then it won't look as good. Because at this point, I haven't realized that this, this greeting just does not make sense. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to do the inside and it's going to be all super gorgeous. And then I can have like this delicate frame where I can write my, my inspirational sentiment on the inside. So I'm stamping the same um, feathers with Versamark ink. And that is what it's supposed to look like when you've prepped your paper. No embossing powder all over the place, <laughs> like on the front panel. I was so bad. And uh, then I'm going to heat that with my heat tool as well and just to just to give it a little something on the inside right like I'm really trying hard along with my pattern paper um to try and do the inside of the cards because it's always it's a nice little surprise and not just like in the pop-up cards or anything like that or in the pivots um but like in just regular cards and so I thought that was so pretty and I was so pleased with myself and I'm like oh this is gonna be so great and I'm gonna adhere this down and I'm actually going to go a little bit crazy with my score tape at this point. I'm using half inch score tape and because I used water and heat embossing on my Bristol paper, while it's mostly flat, it's still a little warpy and it is a thicker cardstock, so it's going to stay a little warpy. So I'm going to go a little bit crazy here and <laughs> I'm just going to like put score tape all over the back of this thing because I don't want to go anywhere because at this point I'm like, Ooh, who am I going to give this to? Like I've got some people in my life that I know are struggling through no fault of their own. And it's just, it's nice to know that, you know, somebody's thinking of them and it's not just a birthday or an Easter card or an occasion card. It's just, it's something nice. And so I'm like, Oh, I got to make sure this doesn't come apart in the mail and it's going to be great. And at this point I'm oblivious, right? Cause I just, kind of glanced at it and was like, oh, this is going to be so great. And it's so not. Like, I actually filmed this three days ago, and I seriously considered scrapping it. I considered, like, not posting it and not doing a voiceover and kind of like, you know, just keeping it on the side and maybe I'll figure out something to do with it. Um, I had to use the paper towel here because my splatters were still wet. And like I said, I'm super impatient and I wanted that on my card base like right now because I'm so excited about this card because it's like so pretty. And so I'm going to be using some of the iridescent crystals from Studio Cadia, which I had just shown in a haul video. And I am going to try them out with the Rangers Multimedia Matte. I've mentioned before that I cannot make this stuff work with sequins. But I'm hoping because I don't like the way the other glue gets a little bit shiny when it like smooshes out the side that this stuff will actually work for me. 
And of course, the first thing I do, because I'm all like, oh, get the get the triangle tray. It's going to be so great. First thing I do is I hit it with my hand because I'm not used to having a triangle tray. <laughs> and I'm using one of my toothpick DIY quick picks tools here just to add like a huge scattering of these of these crystals all over because this is the first time I'm using them and I'm so excited about them and they're going to go on this super pretty card, right? But now, even now, when I'm like recording this and I'm watching this video, that greeting is <laughs> like under my skin. Anyway, so I was going to scrap it, but I decided that, you know what? We all make mistakes and we all do things that you're like, afterwards you're like, oh, crud. Like seriously, why? And I wanted to show that we all do it too. I mean, it's not just people who are starting out. I've been making cards for, I don't know, it's my fifth year making cards and my fourth and a half year blogging and my second month YouTubing. So, I mean, at this point I should be a pro, right? <laughs> no, not so much, not so much. That's not what's happening. Um, and then I couldn't stop with the crystals. Like, I just had to keep adding them. And it's so glittery and so shiny and so wonderful and the inside is nice and I'm so excited and that greeting. Anyway, that is the card for today. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for your commenting and subscribing. It means so much to me. If you haven't done those things, please do them. I will have links to my blog and my Facebook post down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.